Hello everyone. So today I will be showing you how to do a basket weaving stitch. This is the stitch looks like. For this project you will need a crochet hook of 6.5 mm crochet hook. I am using 6.5 mm crochet hook. A ball of yarn. So let's begin. Let's begin by making a slip knot. Hold the end of the yarn and continuous yarn in your left hand. Turn your right hand and make a loop. Pull the continuous yarn to the loop and tighten it around your crochet hook like this. Now make a multiples of row, uh, uh, multiples of eight, and at the end uh, add seven to your stitches like this. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the first 8 rows. Now I will add more, uh, one more 8 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like this. Now I will add 7 to my stitches for the last. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7 stitches. Now, uh, uh, this is the sample. So, I am only, uh, I am only, I only make chain of 20, uh, 23, 23 stitches. So you can add as many as you like for the your for your desired length. Now for the first row we will make a uh, double crochet in the in every stitch of this first row. Now yarn over insert the hook in the third chain and make a double crochet again. Follow the same pattern on the first row, making a double crochet in every stitch. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you how the double crochet row looks like. Okay. This is how the double crochets look like on the first row. Now for the second row you will make a chain, two chains and turn your work. Now we will be working on the front post and back post of your stitches to meet your do uh, like this yarn over the hook for the front rows you will insert the hook from the front side like this and for the back post you will insert the hook from the back side like this now for the front rows you will yarn over and insert the hook in the second stitch make a double crochet like this again again and again this is how the front post looks like now for the back, uh, now we will work on the back post. Insert the hook from the back side and yarn over. Pull through two. Again.
this is how the back post looks like this is the fir first four uh, four front post and four back post now again yarn over and make a front post Again, make a front post and double crochet. This is the next four front post looks like. Now for the back post, yarn over, make a double, insert the hook from the back side and make a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from the back side yarn over make a double crochet again one two three now I need one more and make a double crochet like this now we have left one two three four and five the last stitch make a four front post stitches in your last project front post now for the last stitch you will find the first stitch like this is the first stitch of my row yarn over make a double crochet in the last stitch now like this this is how the second row looks like hold the yarn and now you can see the back post over here and front post Now for the third row, you will make two chains and turn your work. Now for this row, you will be working from the. Now for the third row, you will make a three chains and yarn over. Insert the hook from the back side so your front uh, side will be now uh, for the third row you will yarn over and insert the hook from the back side of side to make a back loop and make a double crochet at the end like this. Like this, like this, and at the end of the fourth row, make a four double back post. Now, for this, you will make a front post. For next four, you will make front post stitches. how it looks like now back post front post now 
now back first for the last four crochets now for the last row, uh, stitch you will make a double crochet in the this is how the how your project looks like you can see the difference that these are the front post, back post, front post and the back post. Now for the fourth row you will follow the same pattern. Make a chain of two and turn your work. Now for the uh, now for the fourth row you will make the uh, back post crochet double crochet like this make four back post crochet stitches double crochet stitches You can see the pattern changing. So this is the this is called basket weaving stitches. Now you will make four front rows crochet stitches. For the last stitch, make a double crochet at the end. Last uh, on the last stitch, pull the yarn, and this is the just looks like you can see the pattern changing over here like this, like this. now insert the hook and chain and turn your work now Maybe. 
make back post because back post we are making back post so the front side of your project looks same like wait i will show you how Now this is looks the same. Now front post. front post four front post now four back post like this Now make front post. Now make back post. Now make a double crochet at the end. This is how the how your project looks like. This is the back side. This is the front side. Thank you for watching.